What I got here is just a generic, it's a Troy built pressure washer. And one thing that I did not realize upon purchasing is that the pump bodies will corrode when you store them for the winter to the point like you saw in the introduction that uh, it obviously sprays water all over the place. Now it will still operate at least for me, but it makes a mess obviously it gets you all wet and it eventually is going to fail completely. So this video will show you how to replace that pump. Looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward and put the, uh, put the unit back to full readiness. First thing we'll do there is disconnect the, the uh, hose, this guy right here, and it's just a simple screw. That just comes right off. That's it. Now you do have the gas, at least for this model, and most models will have a gas tank, so the, uh, the unit is best tilted on the side when you go to replace the motor, because the, the pump, I mean, and it's uh, down under here, you can see the water dripping. So you'll want to either empty the gas tank or make sure it's not full enough that when you tilt it on the side, it's not going to spill out. And I'm going to tilt it so that the gas cap is on top. So looking at the entire unit, I'm going to tilt it to, uh, to the left in the picture there so that the gas goes down into this portion of the tank. And it's pretty much empty anyway, but just an important safety tip there. This here is a new pump. You can see that this is where the motor will connect to it, the lawnmower motor that's there. It's keyed so that it will rotate and lock into the shaft of the motor. This is the line, whoops, this is the line where the water hose comes in and this is the line where the uh, pressure washer hose plugs in. You got some valves in here and you've got a tap if you want to use the, the tank that you put like soap or something like that. There's a little tap there for that. And then this here is the, the pump body and that's I believe what has corroded. So we're going to go ahead and take the old one off. All right, so underneath the unit here, you can see that one line that I was talking about where the, the tank here, you can put stuff in there, soap and whatever, and that'll just suck that out of that tank. So obviously that's going to need to come off. And then it's only three bolts, Allen head screws, six millimeter for these. You got one up here, one down here, and another one over there. Now you can see here that that one's rusty for some reason while the other two are not. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. I did spray some WD-40 on there in case the things are seized a little bit. So I'm just going to use an Allen wrench here and get those, uh, get those guys off. All right, so there's the three nuts that came out. You can see that two of the three are identical. The, uh, the longer one is the rusty one there. It actually goes like this. So it's three bolts and three nuts that go on on them. And turns out the, the pump and the motor are kind of pinched together. And obviously when the pump is going to come off, the motor is going to come off. So I didn't know that before I did that. So essentially got everything loose so where I could turn it pretty easily and then lifted the, the unit back up and then removed the rest of the screws from the bottom. So that gets a little painful, but, uh, but it can be done. So now you can see here that the, the motor just kind of dropped by itself. I didn't even have to pull on it. So just gravity took that out. So we'll go ahead and pull that out of here, get that one feed line off for the tank and take a look. All right, so here's the two pumps, obviously the nasty one and the broken ones on the left here and uh, the one on the right. So just a couple identifying things here. This big hole here matches up with this big hole here. That's an orientation thing. You can order a different model where that big hole is on a different side. So you want to make sure that you got the right, uh, the right pump for your unit. Another thing is it does have identification stickers. Those guys right there by this uh, Anovi Riverberry or Riverby, however you say the company's name. And it is the identical one that I was able to find on, uh, on Amazon. So I picked that up just to look at the... Uh, you know, just to verify you got the right thing there. Another thing about the pump is if you can just see these hairline little cracks in here, there's another one that runs up over in here, with that guy right there, that's where the leak is coming from. And the trick is, is that it doesn't really leak until you put it under pressure. So just sitting there with the hose connected and the, and the machine not running, the water connected and turned on, you wouldn't see any leaks. But once that pressure kicks in, all that water starts to come out of those little cracks. If you look at this machining here, you don't see any of those little hairline cracks on the new one at all. So there, uh, there's stuff here and I'll show you in a second on how to not let this happen. All right, so this is the pressure washer pump protector from Stable. They make the fuel stabilization additive that you can add to for like your garden equipment and everything that you're gonna put away for the winter. So this connects right into the hose portion of it. So you'd screw it into here, press the, little, uh, the button down and you do that, you'd have to take the, uh, the supply hose or the, the pressure washer hose off. And essentially what you do is you spray that stuff and it fills the pump cavity here. And when it comes out the other side, then you know that you've, uh, you've evacuated all the water out of there and all you've got is this stuff in there. So I imagine it doesn't corrode and it doesn't freeze. 
which is another thing that might have happened here. This is frozen and it may expand it and crack the aluminum as the ice formed. Not too much here. This thing's uh, only four ounces. I think it was like seven or eight bucks. Obviously cheaper than a new pump, but I think uh, you should get at least two uses out of this. We'll see, I guess, in winter time when I go to do this. But anyway, so now we got the thing all taken apart. Showed you what's wrong with the old one. We'll go ahead and we'll put the new one in. Essentially just those three bolts again. And before I do do that, like I had mentioned, it is keyed. So there's going to be a key on the shaft of the motor and you want to just make sure you line that up. So what I'll do is I'll put this in first and then just spin the pump to get the pump to align to where the holes line up and then be able to bolt it down. All right, got the motor in there, got the screws on. The, uh, the nuts here are, are knurled on the bottom, so it makes it convenient because it grips onto the motor and you don't have to really put a wrench on it. So it's kind of nice. And you want to get it tight, but you don't have to you know, kill yourself with it. And then just make sure that all the three feet are, are touching and that it's everything is screwed down completely because it, it can get a little crooked on you and you got to draw the motor up into the up onto the shaft a little bit all right so now we'll get the hoses hooked up and get some water into it and do a little operational test all right so obviously no leak for the pump i got a little bit of a leak from the hose there but i'm not worried about that that's good we'll put her under pressure So I decided to go ahead and just try this stable stuff, give you guys an idea of uh, how much you get out of here. So just got it screwed into the water supply hose, and then I expect to see it be coming out here of the the hose return that goes out to the pressure wand itself. So see what happens. So what that was was it just blowing out the residual uh, water that's in there. So be ready for that. But now you can see that product is actually coming through the cat or coming through the coming out of the can now. All right. So I would call that good. So that's used very little to do that. So that's good. Makes a little bit of a mess. You want to be uh, want to be ready for that. But otherwise, I'll go ahead and get the the hose screwed back on here and get it uh, get it buttoned up. Put it back. Ready for next use.